What if catching the coronavirus isn't just about who you come in contact with, but also the weather? Doctors from the University of Maryland rushed to release pretty remarkable findings, highlighted with the bright green stripe on this map. That's winter temperatures generally between 41 and 52 degrees, which also highlights some of the areas of the biggest COVID-19 outbreaks, starting in Wuhan, China, South Korea, Japan, Iran, Italy, much of Europe and the US. Six doctors and researchers partnered on that study. Yeah. Well, Dr. Amoroso, just to dive right into your findings, uh, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong here, but it seems like the headline is that COVID-19 does not seem to like warm, dry weather. Is that right? Yeah, Chase, absolutely. I mean, the humidity is higher, so it's maybe 45 to 80 percent humidity. So it's cold, but not freezing, and it's damp. Think Seattle, the Bay Area, lately Chicago, New York, or Boston, all home to large outbreaks. So that kind of begs the question of where in the US might still see the kind of weather the coronavirus likes the most. This is the studio at NBC Washington where I asked meteorologist Amelia Draper to look into some long range forecasts. Amelia, what'd you find? Well, so far March nationally for the most part has been running above normal. And according to the Climate Prediction Center for the rest of the month, April and May, the areas in orange will likely continue to see temperatures running above normal. I also looked at some analog years. What year kind of stacks up to this March of 2020. And with that, I found March of 2016. So according to the study, the areas of concern are going to be where the blue meets the white areas like Boston, Chicago, Minnesota and the Dakotas. So if the study is correct, that's good news for most of the United States. For just someone in the public who's listening to our conversation, what would be the most important thing that you would want to make sure they grasp about what you've found so far? If this theory can be tested and proved, and then um, we could say, okay, well, we got to be really careful in Boston. We got to be really careful in Seattle. And, and, and so that might help the public health field and, and to put more surveillance in place, to put stricter controls in place to where, you know, where it might go. But we really want people to start testing this and, and challenging it in such a way that, you know, we, we want to see if it's right. And even though it is already spring here in Washington and across much of the country, doctors still want you to take precautions against the coronavirus because they say this is just a preliminary study.